Hey Libra, welcome back to Distilled Tarot. My name's Shannon. I'll be guiding you through today's reading. This is going to be our daily reading for Saturday, February 13th. Let's see what's going on with Libra. The heart of your reading, we have the Two of Wands reversed and the Nine of Wands reversed. Hmm. Quitting has presented a new opportunity. You were on a certain road and you've quit something. It feels positive, feels like a positive energy here. And now you used to have certain options ahead of you, but those options are shifting now. It's not the same options as before you quit the thing. You're waiting for um, you're waiting for I'm trying to suss out whether you are meant to make a plan or there's something arriving and it's a bit of both. You are things are coming into clearer focus for you. And that is materializing the new options. Show me the challenge for Libra. Four of Swords. Taking a time out. Rest, recovery. Um, you could be starting a meditative practice. You could need a uh, time away from the path that you were on in order to gain clarity. Show me Libra's focus. Seven of Cups in reverse. Clarity. This is specifically emotional clarity. I think what it's saying is the path that you found yourself on before was confusing. Um, you would take an option and it wouldn't yield the results that you wanted. And yet every cup that was available to you still seemed attractive. And you couldn't tell the difference between something that would lead to emotional fulfillment and joy or something that would lead to feeling off or wrong or hurt or like... Uh, something bad happening as a result. That is now corrected because the way this showed up in your focus is in the reverse. So it's, it's a clearer understanding of what is going to bring joy into your life. When, when things are presented to you now, you can, you can determine more clearly where it's going to lead you emotionally. Show me the recent past for Libra. What led up to this? Three of Wands, Hanged Man. This is a lot of patience, a whole lot of patience. It's, it's, this could be talking about, is it, let me ask, is it talking about prior to the change or after the change? The change of plans is what I'm asking about. The change of uh, the path that you were on before versus the path, the new path that's materializing. Okay, this is the new path. Okay, so hmm. you're giving it your full focus and attention. 
You want to devote your full focus to this because that's what the situation warrants. You're applying your, not only your focus, but your effort. You want to learn from this. You want to understand it. You want to immerse yourself in it. And then the Three of Wands adds a, an element of, of faith. Saying, okay, uh, I'm applying myself. I'm immersing myself in this. I want to learn from it. I'm being patient. I'll stay in this situation as long as I have to in order to gain the, the clarity that I seek. Clarity of mind, clarity of heart. Be able to make better decisions moving forward and determine what my options are now. And then I'm going to wait. I'm going to have faith that I do my part and the universe will do their part to meet me on my path. And, and bring in the, the energetic match for the new energy that I'm um, that I'm What's another word for expelling? <laughs> this doesn't really fit. That I am emitting. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the new energy that I am emitting. So I'm emitting new energy and I'm awaiting that which is an energetic match to my newer, higher vibrational energy. I have faith that it's coming. Show me... The energy of the environment. Oh, Libra. The sun and the lovers. This is deep and abiding love and joy where both people feel um, able to express a, a full expression of who they are. They're, they don't hinder one another. They, they lift each other up. There's, there's a level of trust that needs to be in this energy for it to even occur. That, that is astounding to me. It's like, um, because the sun is ultimate independence. And then the lovers is two people completely enmeshed and choosing one another, committing to one another. So when you have both, it just says, like, uh, there's there's unmitigated trust i hope i'm saying that correctly like you trust each other completely oh okay why am i saying trust because you want to go off and do x y and z and your person is fully supportive of that saying that sounds amazing. I hope you fully enjoy that. And I hope it, it brings you so much uh, enrichment and go get them. You're going to you're going to do amazing. It's like optimism on top of joy, on top of expansion and exploration, exploration. So much positivity being brought into your life right now. I think this is what you've been energetically asking for. If that's the case, this is confirmation that spirits heard you. And that's what they're working on you to align with right now. Preparations are being made to pull this in and to align you with it. That's amazing. Show me the energy of the near future for Libra. Ten of Pentacles reversed. This was peeking out from the bottom of the deck. I'm not sure if I held the deck in a way that you could see it when uh, the last two cards were coming out. Ten of Pentacles reversed. I think it was. Either that or the one before. This is the path starting to materialize in front of you. This is the end goal, the life that you want. 
And it's interesting that it's showing up in that order. Usually you see the seed appear first, and then you find out where it's going to lead you. This is seeing the end game. It, it, the possibility becomes real. You're like, oh, I could have a life like that. The life that I really want for myself, I can dream even a little bit bigger, maybe a lot bit bigger. And it's attainable. I could really have it. I'm getting the sense of like knowing that it's possible gets you uh, is exactly what's meant to happen so that you start off on that path because if you hadn't known that it was possible you might not have even taken the first step you wouldn't have known what direction to head show me surprise energy for libra Nine of Pentacles, you're so close. You're all, it, it's not even like some far away goal. Nine of Pentacles is when you get to a state independently where you feel like you're firing on all cylinders, like your life is, is solid, is going well, you have everything that you need. Um, it's an independent, uh, well, preparation for what's coming next, which the, the difference between the Nine of Pentacles and the Ten is this is when you manifest your own success, your own abundance, independently what you want and need for to feel um, abundant. And then add any other individuals to the mix in order to feel like, a, whether this be a, a spouse, a partner, a family... Um, roommates, whatever sort of extended environment that includes other people or pets or other other sentient beings. Um, this is like, okay, I'm going to get independently secure and to a level where I feel like my life is a success, like I'm firing on all cylinders, because I'm aiming toward this life that includes co-creating a, a bigger, better future that's going to be the life that we all want for ourselves or we both want for ourselves. Show me hopes and fears. Page of Cups. You might be hoping for a Pisces. You might have someone specific on your mind. Um, if not, this is an open-hearted energy. This is saying, I don't just want romance. I want like pure open-hearted love where it, it's, it's kind of zeroing in on the trust factor that I was getting, but it's like that deep connection that goes along with like, I want you to know everything about me, that sort of energy. You want someone who will embrace your whole heart and vice versa. Show me the end result. How do these energies resolve for Libra? Seven of Wands. You know what you stand for and you can see the, the path forward because you're on the high ground now. It's also about establishing healthy boundaries. So if this, if this quitting thing is something that looms over you, like, um, is it something that I should stay away from in the future? This is telling me that you will have established healthy boundaries moving forward. Like, I know what I do, and I know what I don't do. 
I know what I want and I know what I don't want. With a con strong convictions. Show me advice for Libra. Seven of Swords. Interesting. I feel like they're actually saying that for the time being, some things are just for you. This is operating in, in secret. Finding balance away from prying eyes. It's nobody else's business. It's just yours. You don't have to um, publicize what you're doing right now. The experience you're going through is just for you. And you'll know when when the path starts to appear to move forward. Right now you're in a holding pattern. You're you're waiting, you're gaining clarity. You're manifesting your future, but it's not going to happen right away. Give me more on the seven of swords. Yeah, don't communicate what you're doing. Page of Swords in reverse. I just wanted to make sure that, that there wasn't another aspect that they wanted me to talk about that a lot of times comes with the Seven of Swords, but no, they're they're saying I, I was hitting the nail on the head of what they wanted to express there. Um, the advice is keep it to yourself. There, there are things that are meant to be just for you, and you won't be dishonest by not sharing it. Don't feel like you are um Okay, the the term keeping secrets has a negative connotation sometimes and they they want you to drop that in this context. This is something that is private for you. It is it is for you and you don't have to communicate about it. It would actually be better for you if you don't. Libra, I hope that helped. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you back tomorrow.